Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to study one more example of nested loop and the program is to sum up, take a sum of digits of a given number till it reduces to single digit. Okay. So before this, we already saw a program that will calculate a sum of digit and I wrote that code here. Okay. So if you are not familiar with this, or if you don't know the logic of this, please watch the video of sum of digits. Okay. And I'll attach the link of that video in the description below. Now, see what we are doing here. Actually, we are checking whether my number is greater than zero or not. If it is greater than zero, then we are taking a mod of eight by 10. So in this way, we will get a last digit to be separated. Okay. And once we get a last digit, we, we are adding it to the sum. And then to get a previous digits, okay. So you can say if you have a three digit number to this, this statement will give you the last digit and this statement will give you the first two digit. And so we are repeating this process. Okay. So let us take an example of this. Let us dry run this part. So you will understand it better. So we have sum, we have n and we have r. So assume that I have a number 987. We initialize sum with 0. Okay. Now is n greater than 0? Yes. Now mod will be taken. So this operation will give you the last digit of your n. So what is the last digit? Last digit is 7. Now what is the next operation? Next operation is equal is sum is equal to sum plus r. So current value of sum is 0, 0 plus 7 is what? 7. So new value of sum is 7. Next operation is divide n by 10. Okay. So 987 divided by 10 is what? 98. And we are storing the result in n again. Again, same process will repeat. Again, it goes at the beginning of a loop. Okay. So is 98 greater than 0? Yes it is greater. Okay. So the mod will be taken. Now the new value of n is 98. So this will give you the last digit which is 8 here. Then sum will be calculated. So sum is equal to what? Sum plus r. So current value of sum is 7. r value is 8. So it will give you 15. So new value of sum is 15. Now next statement is to divide 98 by 10 which gives you 9. So again it will goes at the beginning of a loop. So is n greater than 0? Yes, still it is greater than 0. Again, it will come here. So 9 mod 10 is 9 again. Okay, you can calculate it and check it. And again, this 9 will be added to the sum and this will gives you 24. Okay, and the next statement is 9 divided by 10. So which will gives you 0 which will gives you 0. Now when it comes at the beginning of a loop, 0 is not greater than 0. Your condition evaluates to fall and you, your loop get terminated. Now as you can see here, what is your sum now? Your sum is 24. It is not a single digit sum. It is two digit sum. So again you have to repeat this process for what? You have to repeat this process for 24. So this 24 should be a next or new n value okay so outside this when you complete with this loop what you will do you will assign this value to n so some value will be assigned to the n so new value of n will be sum and again this process will be repeated so again for that what I have, what I have to do I have to write one more loop and now what can be the condition here see how you will determine the single digit number? Yes, any case. So single digit numbers are always less than 10. Okay, single digit numbers are always less than 10. Okay, or you can say you want to repeat this process till your number is greater than 9. Okay, so what will I, what will I do here? I'll say n greater than 9. Okay, look at here. Now this becomes an example of nested loop because here this is our inner loop 
and the this part is outer loop and we wrote one loop in another loop that's why it becomes nested loop now same process see now you understand this process right now what we did we assign the value of sum to n so new value of sum is what 24 hmm? now it goes here is 24 greater than 9 yes it is greater than 9 so my sum value will initialize with 0 and it should get initialized with 0 otherwise it will contain the older sum so the sum equal to 0 this statement should appear inside the loop now again it will come here is 24 greater than 0 yes it is greater than 0 so mod will be taken so 24 mod 10 is what 4 so new value of r is 4 now it get added to the sum now current value of sum is 0 because we re reinitialize it so 0 plus 4 is what 4 Now 24 by 10 will be done, which is 2. 2 mod 10 is what? 2. New value of sum will be 4 plus 2, that is 6. Okay. Now 2 by 10 will be done, which is 0, which is 0. And now here 0 is not greater than 0, so your loop terminates. And what happened here? the sum value is assigned to n so what is the latest sum value so latest sum value is what 6 as you can see here look at here and it again goes at the beginning now the new value of n is what 6 it's 6 greater than 9 no here condition evaluates to false and if you print the value of sum or n it will give you the single digit sum of your number so here we take a help of nested nested loop to solve this program okay so let us run this program in code block so we already have the program that will calculate a sum of digit now we have to just make a changes here so while n is greater than 9 so here let me wrap this outer while loop to this loop okay now the most important thing is that you have to put this sum equal to 0 statement in the loop otherwise what happened it will contain the old value of sum and your result will be wrong okay so i hope you got this just you have to remember the trick that single digit numbers or Uh, single digit numbers are always less than or equal to 9 and so you have to process this uh, you have to perform this process till your number is greater than 9 so let us run this say let us take a example of 987 okay now what mistake we did here we didn't assign the value of sum to n okay that is also important process as we wrote here when you complete with a inner loop what we have to do we have to assign the value of sum to n again then only that value get reflected otherwise in the first iteration your n becomes what n becomes zero okay so it is very important step so let us build it again Then nine eighty seven. See, you got answer six. Let us try for one more one more number. Say nine nine nine. So answer should be nine because nine plus nine plus nine is twenty seven and twenty seven. The addition of twenty seven is what? It is again nine. Okay. So I hope you got this example of nested loop. In next video, we are going to see one more example. Thank you.